Gambetta did not meet making a movie, but this couple did. Courtney Cox and David Arquette. Tonight, only we can take you to the set of Scream 4. It's the latest in the movie franchise that has earned over half a billion at the box office. Now, the Scream series hits number four and brings back your favorite stars. He's like going back to summer camp. That ghost face, he's a troublemaker. I'll hopefully make you laugh and then immediately, immediately make you scream. The movie may be dark, but the bright son played havoc with a squinting Courtney Cox who returns as Gail. She's pretty bored, pretty miserable, pretty desperate. And then all of a sudden, some murders start happening and her life starts to look up. She likes a good murder. Plenty of murder to go around. Nev Campbell is under attack, but Ghostface has new targets in Hayden Panettiere and Emma Roberts, who was only five years old when the first movie came out. This was my best friend. We were sitting in bed watching, and I literally was under the covers half the time. A lot of the audience will see this film. <laughs> we're infants when we made the others. Breaking news from director Wes Craven, who today tweeted, It's the end of the beginning and the beginning of the end. That's a wrap on Scream 4. Wes was instrumental in bringing David and Courtney together back in 1996. Scream 1 was really, you know, intense crush and all that stuff. And the second one, she was very upset with me. <laughs> we were kind of on and off. By the third one, I think we were engaged to be married. And then Scream 4, you know, with Coco. So this has been a stock full of marriage right here. The movie's opening sequence is famous for a big celebrity kill, with Drew Barrymore and Jada Pinkett Smith among the victims. So who lives and who dies this time? We're sworn to secrecy. We've actually had to sign our lives away. Uh, like, literally, the Scream guy will come to my house and kill me. <laughs> Scream 4 will scare up some fun in April of 2011. It's still an intelligent, scary movie. Okay, I admit I'm a whip, just the mask gives me nightmares. Courtney, by the way, tells us her six-year-old daughter Coco was allowed to come to the Scream 4 set as long as no one was getting killed that day. I think that's a good policy.